Hey photography students, I hope you guys are having a great week. I wanted to share a book with you that I think is really cool. It's called See a Heart, Share a Heart. It's by Eric Telchin. And the cool story about him is that he saw a heart um, just in a natural setting and thought it was so cool one time that he took a picture of it with his iPhone. And so throughout the whole year, he started seeing hearts in different things in, and he would take a bunch of, of pictures of them and he put a book together. So this is called See a Heart, Share a Heart. Here's some of the hearts he's found in nature and all around him. See a heart, share a heart, catch a heart. Isn't that cool how, the, how he's caught the light? Keep a heart, hold a heart, free a heart. Isn't that neat? I love that one. In the shadow. Find a heart. Fill a heart. Even you can even see them in the cracks of the asphalt. Move a heart. Make a heart. Hide a heart. Lose a heart. Even in the little feather. Twist a heart. Break a heart. Miss a heart. Mend a heart. Warm a heart. Tend a heart. They're cool. See a heart. Share a heart. Touch a heart. Change a heart. Eric Telchin just doesn't search for hearts. He finds them, and he's discovered the more hearts that he shares, the more hearts he sees. He's met with more than a thousand elementary school students and has captured more than 3,000 hearts with his phone camera. He never composes or retouches his hearts. He likes them just the way they are. Eric's heart artwork has been celebrated all over the world with features in magazines, blogs, art galleries, and even on primetime TV. He lives in South Florida, and his favorite food is ice cream. Chocolate, in case you were wondering. <laughs> and then here's a little note from the author. Or n not the author, in this case, the photographer. <laughs> I saw my first heart when I was hosting a friend's going away party. It appeared in a puddle of melted ice cream. Chocolate, of course. Amazed, I took a picture of the heart-shaped spill with my iPhone camera. Can you find it on the opposite page? I looked and it's this one. <laughs> when I started to notice more hearts, I realized that they're everywhere, in trees, on sidewalks, even in my breakfast. They came in all shapes, sizes, and colors. Once I captured a hundred hearts, I made a collage, printed copies, and framed them for my family and friends. And they began to find hearts. I launched BoiseesHearts.com so I could share hearts with more people. I even upload a new heart every day. Now people all over the world are starting to see and share hearts, and I know you will too. And so that is our challenge for today, you guys. For this week, I want you to see if you can find a heart in nature and take a picture of it. And if you can't, you can create your own heart that you think would be a cool, cool photo and take a picture of that and submit it to Canvas. Looking forward to seeing all of your hearts this week. Take care. Bye.